Is this crazy enough for you, Cody? I have decided to defend my land and create machines never seen before. Bring it. Welcome back to another Crazy Craft episode. There is a lightning bolt attacking me from the Tesla coil. And guess what? I'm not taking any damage. I figured out the key. How to harness the power of the Tesla coil without taking any damage. And it's full iron armor. Look at- Oh my gosh! Yeah, that was a quick demonstration of how overpowered this thing if you are not wearing the correct protective equipment. I'm talking about PPE. Per personal protective equipment. When you are anywhere near a Tesla coil, you have to be wearing a fully metal armor set. So that's why I have on iron armor. This thing is amazing. Um, if you didn't watch the last episode, basically we found an HBM nuclear tech dungeon that had these Tesla coils running throughout it and I collected a few of them. I have a total of 11. So I'm gonna go ahead and mine, <coughs> Woo mine these puppies up and then we are actually gonna head back to our base and we're gonna build the most epic defense the world has ever seen oh no now i need to find an ant to get out of here actually before we do that just watch this you see all these stinkies over here if they started pooping or something and you didn't like them all you gotta do is pop down that pop down that the tesla coil will fry them to pieces so the reason why i'm so excited about the tesla coils is they are going to be the most epic base defense the world has ever seen as well as the most epic prank. You see, if you do not wear the full set of metal armor, you will get hit very hard, like I demonstrated. And it could be uh, very much a pain in the butt. And if you don't know how to solve it, you're just gonna keep dying over and over and over and over and over. So we're gonna put one right outside Cody's base, and then he's not gonna know how to fix it. He's just gonna keep dying to it. We're gonna place tested coils all over his base. I thought about running away, hiding in the shadows, but I realized that's not what I should do. I should be... Uh-oh. This is Cody's secret base, the one that I destroyed and got in trouble for breaking. I'm just trying to see what this tunnel is. He's trying to build a secret underground layer, too. Look, he's got this... I should probably get out of here before I do something that's gonna get me banned from the server. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of creepers. Don't blow up Cody's base. He's planning something. He's trying to be sneaky about it. All right, we need to put another Tesla coil over here. You know what? What if I buried it? That way it's gonna be smaller and less noticeable and then he's gonna be in for the shock of his life. He's gonna be fried penguin nuggets in no time. So, um, obviously, I do need to save some of these for my base. This will help against, uh, griefing from mobs. It'll help from griefing from Cody and Mike. Because I sometimes have a problem of Cody and Mike just coming over to my base, stealing stuff. Not so much in this series, but in my Scramblecraft series, they do that all the time. So, I'm going to put Tesla coils on every corner. A couple blocks off of it. Oh, this, this is going to be great. There we go. All four corners are protected. Should probably not put one too close to my girlfriend because I'm pretty sure she would get zapped as well and she's Yeah, not wearing metal armor. That would that wouldn't be good to fry your girlfriend Hmm, so we have the Tesla's out. The only thing I'm missing is a Tesla car. I need a Tesla Roadster Anybody want to donate one to me? Just kidding. All right, we'll put a couple on the roof as well And I still got three left over. Look at this. It's amazing. It just keeps the bugs away you know, at the, the first episode, I think I made a bug zapper on my base that got destroyed. Oh my gosh, the snake bugs. I built a uh, bug zapper on top of my house. It only worked, though, if you ran into it because of an electrified vent. This is even better because you can get things from a distance. I mean, that's gonna be like, what, 10 blocks? Boop. That's pretty sweet. So, something else happened today, and I'm a little bit upset about it. So as you guys know, if you've been watching the previous episodes, I've been attempting to get the queen scale chest plate and leggings. And I was doing that in the danger dimension, that's why I was there, and I was taking on the bedrock tower. So you might be wondering, why did I leave the dimension without getting it? Well, no, I, I, I got it. I got enough scales to do it, and then I left, and it was going to be a great video. It was a great video, and I realized... Yeah, the files didn't record, and... 
I was very upset about it. I, I didn't do much except for raid um, a bedrock dungeon just like I did before. Except for this time, I just rushed it and got straight down to where the, the scales were. And I just really took what I needed with a few extra. I don't know. So this is my armor set now. Hope I was hoping that the Tesla coil didn't just come through the walls or something. That would have been funny. Um, so this is going to be my armor loadout for now. We're going to have the Royal Guardian boots, Royal Guardian helmet, and two pieces of queen scale. I'm pretty dang mad at myself for uh, not recording that, but oh well. I wasn't going to do it again because it took a while and... <sighs> but anyways, we should have a lot more protection now that we have this. Um, so I have some big plans. You know what? Let's try to take the Tesla coil with this. Let's just give it a quick shot. Okay, so even with this overpowered armor, you can see the Tesla coil hurts like heck, man. So I do have an even more overpowered plan for these Tesla coils. They're not just prank uh, machines or defense machines. You see... I have a way that these are going to make me the most powerful person on the server. I want to be the king of crazy craft. I'm already the king of scramble craft. And Cody probably right now is the strongest on the server. I heard he's been working on... That was an idiot move, Kraken. Gotta go wide on the Tesla coils or put on my ar iron armor. So Cody's been working on some secret machine that can one hit bosses and all sorts of crazy superhero stuff and I'm kind of jealous I I'm a lot jealous so I've devised this plan to use these Tesla coils to help me create the ultimate mob farm <laughs> my plan is very simple I'm going to use the Tesla coils along with this sword right here none other than a rat sword you might not think this sword is very powerful with only 10 attack damage. But let me show you what it does. Oh yeah, that's right. Every time you swing the sword, you create a bunch of rats. So you can have a rat invasion. And I can duplicate rats as much as I want. So if I do this inside of a room where all the Tesla coils are constantly killing the rats, look at all the random items we can get. I mean, right here, what is this? This has to be a superhero piece. Zoom logo from the Legends mod this is what i'm talking about guys in order to be the true king of crazy craft you have to think outside the box is cody thinking outside the box maybe but i doubt he's thinking this far outside the box to have a rat apocalypse in an ultimate swarm and invasion of rats and then to kill them with none other than the tesla coil i have to somehow bring the rats over here though there's one right there we gotta get close enough inside the range of a tesla coil or, you know what? We could just use this mutant creeper. Oh, no. He's going to blow myself up. Okay, we should probably not use the mutant creeper. But it does look like the Tesla coil is damaging the rats, so that's what we wanted. You know what? Just in case, I'm going to get this thing out of the game. I, I, I don't need any explosions from a mutant creeper. Oh, he's going to explode even though I killed him. Okay, good. That, that was a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Wait a minute. He gets an egg? Where did the egg go? I just got gypped. I wanted that egg, and then now it's just despawned. Whatever. All right, so back to the rat apocalypse. Let me give you a small scale of how this would work. Um, a picture a bigger room with a bunch of hoppers on the floor. And then, you know, you start off with one rat. Then you, you just keep swinging your sword. You keep getting more and more rats and rats and rats and rats and rats and rats and rats. And rats. Okay, but there would also be a Tesla coil, or a few of them. Rats, you gotta, you gotta let me place down my blocks. You, you, you can't just... No, rats, get away from me! <laughs> get away from me! Alright, there we go. So... No! I just killed them all with lightning. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, the Tesla coil. This is what I wanted to do. And I keep spawning in more and more and more and more and more. And then the hoppers are sucking up all the items. And then, I'm kidding. Let it be... The king of crazy crap from all the random items I'm going to be getting. It's going to be amazing. You know, let's just let this work. Oh, this is going to be the best thing I've ever done. This is going to be better than the devastator I created in Scramble Crap. What do I have on my head? Wait, that... Okay, the creeper egg is on my head. I thought it disappeared, but no, it's just on top of my head. This is chaos right now. 
Does Cody think this outside the box? I doubt it. I doubt it. He's going to be crawling at my feet once he finds out the power I'm going to have with this new machine. Guys, I'm going to need a name for this. I'm going to need a name for this machine. It involves the Tesla coils and rats. So it's got to be something cool. You know what? I'm going to put another Tesla coil here and see if it'll... Oh, yes. I have one more in my bag. We are frying the heck out of these rats, guys. I'm not sure they're not even dying. Like, or some of them are, but... I don't know. There's just so much going on in there. I think I glitched it. <laughs> oh my god. I should get all of them over here. I should get them all over here and see what happens. See if I can break the game. Oh, this is great. This is great. <laughs> what have I done? All oh, these poor rats in here. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Do you fear me yet, Cody? Do you fear me yet? <laughs> oh boy, this is great. I'm not afraid of his machine. Look at what we can create. The amount of electricity throwing, flowing through this is insane right now. So I think what's happening is I'm going to need a lot more Tesla coils. I think the power gets distributed between how many mobs there are that it's trying to attack. And to test this theory, I'm going to take off my helmet. And you remember how fast I died earlier. Let's go up to this. Yeah, see, it's still hitting us, but we haven't even lost any health. We just lost a half a heart. So if anybody has any ideas on, like, maybe I can supercharge these or something, please let me know. Other than that, uh, the only thing I can think of is just having, like, a million of these. Um, I don't know how hard they are to craft. Like I said, we got all of these from a dungeon where we just mined them up. They were already there. So, they could be pretty easy. Let me just check real quick. Tesla coil. But I know some stuff from this mod is pretty hard to craft. This doesn't look too bad. We just gotta get make a bunch of these conductors. Hm. Oh my gosh, guys. Let me know if you think I'm making the right decision to stay here. To friend my house and my base instead of running away. I have new tactics that Cody has never seen before. Things that could destroy him and <laughs> just scare him. I mean, imagine if I put this whole contraption outside Cody's base. What would he think is going on with all the chaos? Oh my you know what? That's not a bad idea. Maybe I should move the entire thing over there instead of just a couple of Tesla coils. Put all the rats in a pit just like I did here. Oh my gosh, he would poop himself if he saw that. Oh, that would be great. All right, well, I got to pick the fan of the day. Congratulations to King David 16. You are the fan of the day. And guys, if you have any information on this egg that's on top of my head, um, is it a parasite? Is it going to hatch and explode on me? Or is it just there, you know, chilling and it's going to be my pet? Yeah, any information on that would be amazing. Um, if you want to be the next fan of the day, comment down below. Hashtag Tesla. And we'll catch you in the next one.